How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today I figured um, in preparation I'm going to do um, five lug on these trailing arms here. Uh, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and show you guys how I remove the old bushings, trailing arm bushings, and then put some new ones in. So this side here is the, the left side. So the way we're going to press these out is they're gonna come we're gonna use our press tool over here and they're gonna come out that way um, got these uh, bushings from Rock Auto nothing fancy uh, <clears throat> the way we're going to put these in if you'll notice one side has circular insert or circular hole and then the other one's oval so this is the correct orientation like this and then also You'll notice to, to differentiate um, top to bottom, the bottom is gonna be uh, much thicker than the rubber here. So it's a lot thicker versus the top. So yeah, let's go ahead and press the old one out and then we'll get the new ones in. So here's what I use to press these out and press them in. Just go to Ace Hardware, pick up this coupler it's a two by one and a quarter. And the diameter here fits perfectly along the trailing arm machine. So I got the coupler set up, ready to press out that trailing arm bushing. Uh, we gotta make sure that underneath here, the trailing arm bushing is centered directly so that it'll come right out in between this um, platform here. Just double check that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use some WD-40 for good measure. Just help this slide out. Should be good. And then we'll get to pressing. So before I get started, make sure you put ear protection on. Uh, when the bushing comes out, it's going to make a really loud sound. So if it's your first time doing it, just, uh, yep, you've been warned. There you are. So what I'm gonna do first before pressing it in on the shot press, I'm gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> just give us a few taps with the sledgehammer, just to kind of make sure that this is gonna seat properly, evenly on all, um, all around. And then don't forget um, the oval shape or the oval, this little guy here, <laughs> it goes on the outside of the trailing arm and then the longer portion with just a circle goes on the inside and then this is a uh, past uh this is right hand side so then make sure you have the thicker portion of the material on the bottom so that looks like this here and then because if you just went to the press and started going at it um chances are this will uh it'll it'll go in a cockeyed so Definitely want to avoid that. <clears throat> so 
we'll just go ahead and give this a few taps on all four all around just to make sure it's going in smoothly and you can see it already kind of wants to go in in one direction versus the other so this is a good time to kind of make sure it's oriented properly And then we can check our progress by looking at the bottom side. So <clears throat> if you see here, uh, this side's way more in compared to this side. So I'm gonna have to give this a bit more wax on the on this side up here. And if it doesn't end up working, then I'll have to take it out and sort of start over. So let's see here, see if I can fix it. see if it's working eh, not really may have to start over yeah it's not really working so I'll just pull it out and start over so let's see and I'm not gonna edit this part out because uh, far too often you see videos where it always works for the person the first time around and <clears throat> then when you go to do it, you're like, man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, you know, it's gonna take a couple tries and everything, so. No big deal. All right. So now that we know uh, this side tends to go in a little deeper compared to this side, we'll keep that in mind. Um, and then I'm just gonna make sure this is aligned up and down perfectly center. That's about it right there. Alright, so let's see. And then we'll go ahead and check the bottom, see how we're doing. All right, so we're definitely doing a little bit better, but the looks like now we have an issue where the this top part here is not uh, setting in. So let's see if we can fix that right now. I think we're doing good let's see yep we're doing really well so at this point we can take it to the press now because it's um <clears throat> looking at it visually it's pretty much dead set so then now we can uh take it to the press And then once you get towards the bottom, <clears throat> just be mindful that um, the uh, lowest point is going to be pretty much even with the, the trailing arm here. So. A little more. 
this would do it. There we have it. New arms pressed in. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna get these trailing arms ready for five lug conversion. But yeah, went ahead and swapped out the bushings and now we're golden. <laughs> 